it's Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company. How is your day out there doing? Oh, it feels so good just to wear an oversized sweater today. This belongs to Matt, but it feels comfy today, right? Just to kind of hang out outside right now. It's just an overcast. It's been rainy all day today. Last night, I woke up a couple times and I could hear the rain just pouring, just beating on the roof and... That is what my dreams are made out of. Yes, rainy days, but also stuff like DIYing and painting and thrifting and junking and clearance shopping. And in yesterday's vlog, I pointed out a few things in this space and I'm like, oh my gosh, you won't believe what I paid for it. The lamp, do you guys remember that? Do you guys remember the, um, the cactus? What I told you was like the, oh, you know, like, Oh my gosh, a trophy of a pick when you're clearance uh, hunting. And I told you guys some prices yesterday in that vlog, and I'm like, they're never gonna believe me. They're never gonna believe me. So today I wanted to pull out the footage from my Pier 1 shopping, um, shopping trip. And we're gonna go on it together here in this vlog, and then I'll meet you at the end. I'll show you my haul, and I will show you some stickers, all right? And you're gonna go in sticker shock, not because Oh my gosh, you paid how much for that? But that was priced for how much and you got it for how much? Yeah, all right, see you at the end and we'll talk more. And there it is, looming in the distance. You see what I'm saying? This is a big one. If you guys have one like this where you are. I haven't been in a Pier 1 for years and years and years and years because then after moving to the U.S. I discovered places like Marshalls and Burlington Coat Factory, um, you know, Gabe, Gabriel Brothers Gabe's and so I haven't been back but let's go see what we can find in the clearance section. Yeah, like I said, I really haven't been to Pier 1 in a long time and 
you know, for me, I tend to like to go to shop for prices that fit my budget, that are at my price point. A lot of times I find things to be overpriced, unless you have a coupon or there's a sale, really good one or something like that. But to go into Pier 1 and to purposely just put my, my blinders on and go, Sonia, you are going for the clearance section just to see randomly what they have. Boy, did I luck out that day. Okay, so you saw the cactus print, right? Did you see the price that was on it? Say it with me, $189, $189. No, I would not pay that, absolutely not. But you know what I would pay? $9.98, you guys saw I paid $9.98 for that. Was that a good find? Let me know below, give me a yes if it was. And here again is how I used it in this space. spaces as well. I ended up buying a half a dozen of these, so six of these, and I took the price tag off the bottom, but you guys saw in the video that I got these for $1.98, $1.99, whatever, two bucks a piece roughly, and I have them kind of scattered all throughout my house. I really enjoy just putting this, even if you have a little figurine with it, when you bring in like a painted piece and a little bit of greenery, oh my gosh, I just love how it looks together. So anyway, this was a great find. The other cool thing that I picked up that when I go out I'm going to find some batteries for is these string lights. I think they called them like glam lights, glamour lights, there was some different name they had on them. But uh, basically they're like little twinkle lights, you know what I'm talking about, where you can go ahead and you can string them. This is going to be so pretty when I plug these in and they just glow and give a really pretty twinkle to the room. Anybody else just love it when you see little fairy lights or just really soft little mini lights like this in a space? Okay, do you remember? told you yesterday in the vlog and by the way I will link yesterday's vlog below if you missed it you're gonna want to definitely want to go back and watch that one I showed you the lamp that I also got at Pier 1 and I told you that I paid $11 and change right around $12 for, for this really expensive lamp and I put the lamp in place but I kept the tag because I'm like I gotta show my friends they will never believe they will never believe unless I show them so here you go this is the lamp that I have sitting right over there and here again is what it looks like in this space. It came with a fancy metallic tag. It is called an um, Ashan Hammered Table Lamp, okay? <laughs> Again, one of the, the cactus print and this lamp will go down further in history as like two of the most amazing picks that I've ever found in clearance because look at the savings. It was $119. I got it on clearance for $11.98. It was one of the lamps, it's the last lamp they had, it was plugged in so it was used as a demo of the lamps that were for sale and I said to the attendant, I wanna take that one home today and she's like, ooh, this is a good find, like you got a really good deal. So anybody else do that, just take the actual demo that they have if they don't have any more lamps and this is why it was on clearance, right? Never, I mean, it's still brand new, it was plugged in. At least I know it works and they even gave me the bulb that was inside of it so it was a win-win okay and the last thing I got in there was um, another piece that really is a substantial this is like another big piece like the lamp like the cactus um, print and I am in love with this piece you might have seen me just get drawn to this when I was kind of doing the pan I'm like ooh, I like that Do you remember me wiggling my finger when you saw this Look how big and massive this vase is. And there was some crazy tag, red tag on the side with some like really expensive amount onto it. I can't remember, was it like $89 or $99 or $129? It was like one of those three. At, at the end of the day to me, like it might as well be all the same number because it was really high and I would not pay that much for this vase alone. But I got it on sale for $14 and change. $14 and change. I have this downstairs right now, so I took off the tag off of it, and I'm really thinking I might even make use of this into my bedroom. I really, really like this one. What do you guys think? It really just feels very mermaidy, and I just love all the iridescent with all the glass into it. Oh my gosh, the shimmer. 
absolutely beautiful. So this is gonna pack a punch. One of the things I told you guys is that I'm gonna be working on my bedroom um, as one of my next projects that I have going on in my home here. And I'll share with you today that I'm going to do my bedroom in a blue, a dark blue. Stay tuned for the color choice, the color shade, all that good stuff. We're gonna be ripping up carpet. And at the end of the day, I have a like a blue white comforter set. I've already got neutral curtains. So I'm really thinking about going with a dark blue for the walls, peeling back that brownie frowny carpet and just allowing this beautiful wooden floor just like this to come through. We'll do all the work together. And then, you know, putting a few statement pieces into it like this. So this may work in that space. If not, I've got 9,900 and I don't know, whatever space is left to figure out where it does fit. So it's all gonna be good. I was not gonna leave that there. So what do you guys think of my little haul today? I got some really cool pieces at like big pieces at some really small low prices. I have not been a PR1 like I said for a long time but I'm definitely going to keep it back now on my list of places to check out and honestly I didn't even look the rest of the shop I just went with my blinders on to the back to the clearance and because I know that at the end of the day like you can find some amazing stuff in clearance. It was just on the shelves up front now it's just got happened to get moved in the back and that's why it's so nice to like just touch base with stores just randomly pop in and see what's back there because you never know what they're taking off the floor and putting back there and you just might be this yeah you just might be lucky that just might be your lucky day when you walk in but I'm not gonna pay things like you know even if it is on clearance I'm going to avoid the things that say things like $29 for a throw no I'm not gonna pay that one candlestick $26 nope even though it's on clearance still too high for me $34 for a um, a decorative lantern. Well, you guys saw in one of my vlogs earlier that I found two decorative lanterns and I got it at the thrift store and I painted them and made them beautiful and I got them for like $6.99, $9.99, something like that. So that was a little bit too much for me. Cactus jug, like $22. Nope, 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 nope. But sales like this, yep, 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 yep. So thank you for guys for hanging out with me today. Hopefully you enjoyed my haul here. Tomorrow, we, tomorrow, who knows what we'll get into here in the daily vlog. Thank you for watching my daily videos. I love creating them for you guys, hanging out with you guys, and hopefully giving you guys some inspiration and maybe some things to think about or you know, maybe you'll just make a trip to Pier 1 if you have one in your area just to pop in for the clearance section. Thank you guys. I will see you again tomorrow. And leave me a comment below. Which one of my picks was your favorite? And what did you think of my haul overall? Let me know below. Love to hear from you. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.